Hello, as our gospel reading this week is the road to Emmaus and we would normally be having breakfast church in Broughton and I'm quite enjoying doing some cooking and baking while we're all in lockdown. I thought I would combine the three this week and have a go at showing you how to make rocky roads. Um, so if you'd like to have a go at that, keep watching and you'll find out uh, what ingredients you need and what you need to do to make it. So the ingredients you'll need to make the Emmaus Rocky Road bars are 200 grams of digestive biscuits, or you could use rich tea, 135 grams of butter or margarine in a saucepan ready to melt, 200 grams of dark chocolate. You knew there'd have to be chocolate in a recipe I was sharing with you, didn't you? 100 grams of mini marshmallows, or larger ones cut up of course, two or three tablespoons of golden syrup, and then if you want to you can add up to another 100 grams of mixed fruit, um, dried mixed fruit that is, um, nuts or anything else that you think might be quite nice in Rocky Road. Um, just take care of any food allergies that you might have. So to make your rocky road, you need to put your digestive biscuits into a freezer bag and seal it so that none of them escape. And while you're doing this next bit, you can get someone to melt the margarine or butter for you slowly over a low heat because you'll need um, it melted to carry on. So then when you've got your biscuits in a bag, you can either scrunch them into pieces or take a rolling pin and bash them into pieces it's definitely good fun to do either of those you don't want them to be tiny tiny bits um, like you would if you were making a cheesecake you want a whole mixture of different sizes but basically anywhere between a 50p and um, little crumbs so when you've got them looking a bit like that then you can stop and go and check on your margarine. When your margarine has melted, it's then time to add your chocolate to the pan and your golden syrup. And then what you need to do is you need to stir it and heat it really gently until it all mixes together and melts. Don't have the um, temperature up too high. Don't be tempted to try and do it too quickly because if you do, you will burn the chocolate and that is a total waste of chocolate, which is an absolutely awful thing. Um, so make sure you do it nice and gently. Last bit of golden syrup there. And then rather than me recording it melting, uh, I'll come back to you when that's done. When the chocolate has totally melted, you should have a nice thick mixture that looks a little bit like chocolate icing. You need to then take it off the heat and let it cool down a bit before you mix all your ingredients together. While you're waiting for your chocolate mixture to cool, you can take a tray that you're going to put your mixture in and then using some margarine or butter, grease the tray by rubbing it all over and then you can use some greaseproof paper to line the tray so that you can take it out when it's all ready. When your chocolate mixture has cooled down all you then need to do is mix all your ingredients together. So put your biscuits Marshmallows, any extra fruit or nuts or other ingredients you're going to add into a bowl and then pour in your chocolate mixture. Do not waste any of the chocolate of course, make sure it all goes in. And then when you've done all of that, 
you just need to mix all the ingredients together in the bowl. Takes a little while to do this to make sure everything is coated with chocolate. Make sure you mix it all well together so you've not got any big lumps of biscuit together or any bits that are just marshmallows. Make sure you have got all that chocolate out of your pan. And then when everything is mixed really well, you take your greased and lined tray Oops. And then you tip your Rocky Road mixture into the tray. And then make sure you get all the chocolate out of the top, out of your bowl. Squish all the ingredients into the corners. Make sure it's all smashed down really well. Cut it down. It should look like this. And then you can put it in the fridge to set. After about two hours in the fridge, your Rocky Road creation should be nicely set. So you take it out of the tray that you've set it in, put it on a plate, cut it up, and then you end up with some pieces of Rocky Road. Enjoy. Mm.